Okay. Now, yeah. They fix they fix the uh, the queue time, so it is literally no longer than 30 seconds. They will literally just toss you into a fucking match with the, the rest of the team having bots. The system does not care, which is also very nice. Very prompt service. I'd come to this maid bar again. Okay, Colorado, War Spite. You see, more battleships. Good, 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 good. Fantastic. There's a Cleveland and an Atlanta there, but we're going to try and avoid those. You see, and also that's the thing. Once you start getting into PvE in this kind of game, it's kind of like I fight. I faced this problem in Armored Warfare beforehand. Whereas I was playing PvE to grind vehicles to just play PvE more. I had absolutely zero inclination to actually go back into player versus player modes because they were just frustrating. I gained nothing. Like once I reached the top. I, you know, like, like, Tier 9, for example. Once, once, when Tier 9 came out and I got a hand, my hands on a Challenger 2, um, you know, I was like, okay, let's go play PvE. I mean, let's go play PvP. It was really not, a, uh, not, a, not at all fulfilling. At all. So, what did I do? I just went back to PvE. It's kind of the point where these games, their game design is so frustrating that once they give you a PvE option, it's so much easier and so much more fucking fun that you never want to leave. And then you look back at the horror that is PvE in most of well, PvP in most of these games. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start stop short shifting that fucking those terms one of these days. But you get my point. You see, you once you experience that, you never want to go the fuck back. And at that point, you're just grinding for your own amusement because there's no... It, one of the problems with Armored Warfare as well is because they didn't actually have any sort of anything going on with PvE. I'd like a competitive... something with PvE. Like a campaign or something. Like another thing, another meta thing that I can fill in, you know, like I, I can feed into by playing the game and, you know, destroying hundreds and hundreds of enemy things. That'd be nice. I play for that. I play hundreds of battles for that. I'd feel good about myself doing that if that was like a part of the game. But for some reason, no, PVP. It's PVP all day long because that's the only thing, only thing the fucking Russians play. But then again, maybe I'm just not that kind of competitive player. Honestly, at the end, of, honestly, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to reach the, 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 I suppose the. The perspective that, honestly, uh, the only thing separating me is... The only thing separating me from being an expert PvP player is malice. Because that, at the end of the day, is the only thing you're going to find in a PvP situation. Uh, yeah, you could like, I'm going to be... What, what, do you think, what do you think is behind the emotion of, I'm going to be so good, I'm going to ruin that guy's fun? Malice. That's it. The only thing, the only, honestly, at, at, for most online games, like, you, there, there are upstanding competitive environments, you know, for tournaments and whatnot, fine. That's something, that, 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 you know, that's a prize, that's a title, you can have that. But for most cases in PvE, I totally fucked up that strike too, I'm gonna, I need to get better than that. But, at most times in PvP, there is really nothing other than gain. Other than, there's nothing to gain aside from salt. That's it. And without that ability to... Mine salt, suddenly, to some people, playing the game ceases to, like, have any value behind it. And that's kind of a fucked up perspective if you sit and analyze it long enough, doesn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Hmm. Still need to work on my strikes here. And also, another thing here, you see, these guys are having fun. Aside from the turpit, well, aside from the hipper, he got kind of fucked, but he got a torpedo strike in there. But the turpits, he's just kind of brawling in there, and these guys are just, you know, doing their thing. Like, I play a battleship in fucking co-op battles. That's actually entertaining. Because the AI isn't, well, you know, let's not, let's try not to wait. The AI is stupid, but you know what? Sometimes, 
what, what are you gonna what what are you what are you really questing for in pvp games you're not questing for a worthy fucking opponent half the time when you encounter a worthy opponent or at least when i i do it's more frustrating than anything it's like oh that guy knows how to play the game i'm not gonna have fun for like five to ten minutes after I, unless i deal with him and then 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 i can go back to having fun so What is the sport here? What are we trying to gain? If we're looking for fun, then we're looking at it. We're we're we're, we're looking at it in entirely the wrong area, I think. See, look at that. Interpus is brawling with battleships. Look at him fucking go. He's actually gonna kill them. He's happy. He's free. He doesn't have to deal with all this fucking nonsense. He can drive the ships over there and click on things in fucking peace. He's even, he's like, he's taking long, you know, lo long, uh, whatchamacallit? Long strikes with the secondary bat. He is brawling with the secondary battery guns. He's going to die now because of the fires. But you know what? He was probably fulfilled with himself. He probably went smiling. He died content. So let's get rid of this fucking war spite. Fire. More fire. Torpedo. Dead. Hey, a kill. Wow, that's the first time in a fucking ages. And here come the enemy planes. Ah! You see, he even congratulated me. See, this is a nice environment. I mean, it's calm. That guy's probably like 13 or something like that, but I don't care. So I think this is what this game needs. I think this is kind of what uh, this is kind of what every game in this kind of genre, this mini genre needs: robust PVE. Because to be honest, it may be me just getting older and burning out on this shit, but really, I don't see like there's not there's no like I'm only playing these games for me because I like. The, uh, whatchamacallit, I like the subject matter. They're vehicles of the mid 20th century, of all shapes and sizes, aside from World of Warplanes, but we don't talk about World of Warplanes, that's just War Thunder. Just forget that play, forget that game exists. But it's just, that's why I play this game. I like this stuff. I like all of the, the imagery associated with this stuff. Wait a minute, what happens if I press H? Nothing, why is that there? Never mind. Um, that's what I'm saying. I like these games because I like the, uh, whatchamacallit, I like the, the mystique of all these vehicles. It fuels my imagination. It's also how I make videos most of the time, too, because I sit there, I'm playing through games, and then I have those moments where everything looks really fucking cool, I stop, wait a minute, you know, get some kind of recording of it, and then off I go. That's what I, that's, and that's what I was doing for probably five years before I actually started doing Let's Plays. So, um, that's why I'm here, mostly. And honestly, most of the time, with, you know, these, like, really high-stress PvP situations, I'm not able to do that. Like, because I have to concentrate on, you know, like, I'm ruining that guy's day over there, I can't do anything. Like, I can't sit and enjoy what the fuck I'm doing. This, I just need to learn how to aim my fucking strikes better, because now, like, it's almost like I'm not expecting them to actually be this easy. So maybe I just need, so I need to work on my strikes. Once again, 300 XP. Um, I'm fine with this. Yeah, I could make a little bit more, but eh. I could probably, whatchamacallit, I could probably, uh, I could probably squeeze some more XP out of this, or at least some base XP. And if I needed to grind anything, I'd probably come in here, just load the fucking ship down with enough flags, you'll make it the bonus because you're winning.
You'll make you'll make enough you'll make more than enough XP to compensate for it. So once again, and also it doesn't require that many people to play. I don't have to wait. I don't have to, you know, sit there and wonder what kind of team you know, like what kind of team disposition I'm going to get and how long it's going to take or what who's playing what class? Is there another is there, is there another aircraft carrier in the queue? Am I going to have to wait fucking 50 years? Nope. It's 30 seconds and then you get thrown in with a bunch of bots. Afuso. Holy shit. The New Orleans are kind of, you know, a problem, but Afuso. The battleship princess. I have not seen her in ages. It's also, that's the thing. The metagame is really against carriers right now, because what is everyone doing? Everyone's playing German battleships for the most part. That's the easy moto tech tree at this point, because they're really hard to citadel, and they have monstrously good secondary batteries and self-sufficient AA. So, they're basically good at everything right now. And as you saw, what the fuck am I supposed to do against that shit? At least in this game, at least in this mode, the enemies are not abusing literally every single thing in order to fuck with you. And honestly, in a lot of cases, in order to fuck with planes, it's not even that hard. Like, if somebody's actually focusing down squad, I actually like, I, 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 you know, I kind of want them to get rid of focusing squadrons. Because it is really not, it's it, like, the AA, the concentrated AA fire of a battleship, honestly, it should, it, honestly, it's, it should be good on its own. With focusing, and also, um, focusing squadrons like that also removes really any point in massing attacks because the squadrons are going to die at the same rate because you're all you're dumping all of the dpm onto that one squadron and you're doing it so quickly if you cycle through the targets they're basically dead by the time they actually get it within strike range so um what uh what what's the downside to this what's the what's the counterplay to focusing squadrons there is none you just kind of have to hope and pray to God that your sh that your planes are actually going to make it through. Which, most of the time, they don't. So, you see, it even doesn't, it doesn't even do competitive, right? Fucking hell. And honestly, that's another thing as well. For example, like, I would play, whatchamacallit, this is just kind of an experiment for this phase of Grindfest, I suppose. But, and also, this is another thing with not playing the PvE aspect, the PvP aspect of the game. The videos that I make suddenly aren't really worth a damn, because nobody wants to see that. Nobody ever does, oh, you're playing PvE. Okay. You're just shooting arranged targets. You're shooting ranged targets, Fonto. Nobody wants to see that. I mean, most people, uh, most people, most people will say, no, that's fine, because they just, like, a lot of, apparently a lot of people are entertained by me just having enthusiasm, which is, you know, it's a nice feeling. But however, this just doesn't have any real, actual worth to it, in a lot of cases. Where is the Fuso? Where the hell is the Fuso? There's the Fuso. Somewhere in there. Fuck out of here, Fiji. Stop shooting at my planes. Where is the battleship princess? She's in the smoke. She's in the dressing room. I know this is rude and ungentlemanly, but, you know, I got places to be. There's... Uh, no, that's the turpits! Wrong dressing room! There she is! All the way on the other side of the fucking map. God damn fucking damsels just screwing with me. So that's honestly, that's what I'd like to see a PVE mode. Because honestly, PvP at this point is just frustrating as all hell. And most of the, honestly, most of the problems that we have with these games, or I know a lot of people have with these games, is, because, is just down to the PVE stuff. Balance changes that will never get fucking fixed. So we can't do anything else other than play the fucking meta. And, but in an AI situation, basically everything is valid. I'm being poked at by something. It's the Fiji. Fuck you. Get away from my boat. I didn't fucking sign up for this type of play. Okay. 
Stop going after my torpedo bombers, you asshole. Okay, fine. Go after those ones. Ow. Those are starting to hurt. Ow, ow. Alright, fine. Whatever. They still hit. These two fighter squadrons are making my life a little, a little bit of a hell here, but you know what? At least it's better than just having my planes immediately liquidated. Uso, get the fuck back here. Okay, fish in water. Hmm. Thank you, Fuso, you're a sweetheart. You're the reason why I come back here. Excellent service. Now, once again, I'm still not doing all that much damage, so maybe there's a more efficient way of doing this. Or at least, maybe it's not carriers. Hmm. Maybe we should take a break from carriers and see what else we can wiggle with. Because I know, at least in this situation, we can, you know, actually roll and not immediately fucking die. Mahan, Saint. Mahan, that anime girl was too big for you. Good effort, but Jesus Christ, man. Be practical. people left are the Fuso with 82 hit points. Wow, she's a trooper, isn't she? They don't pay her enough. Hey, get the fuck back here. Interprets is probably going to sink. Ah, uh, you see, ah, the Mahan. <laughs> he sunk her with the fucking ramming flooding. You see, maybe he, may, maybe, just maybe, he that that girl was exactly his size. That crafty bastard. Okay, so what's left aside from the carrier? Nothing. Okay. I suppose that's the thing with PV, or like seeing the, uh, whatchamacallit, the worth in PVE. Because with PVE content, it's kind of like arranging a haunted house or something like that. Because, you know, it's a, basically a puzzle that the, the only, the only, the only way that, uh, it's gonna have any sort of, like, structured value or competitive value is that if it's structured, uh, like, like, in a challenging way. Because they're just AI. The AI is just going to like if you, if you kill things, you're just going to kill things. Like for example, this is unstructured. It's just like it's replicating PVP as much as it can. It's doing a really good job of it, without actually making me absolutely fucking frustrating and frustrated, and making me want to kill myself. So points for that. But you see, what you call it? The um, it's the, it's that wonderful fucking buzzword, dynamic. PvP situations are not dynamic. They are they 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 are static. They exist in the same way. They they exist mostly in the same state forever because that's how they're designed. That's nowhere near what I wanted to do. But one of those torpedoes is probably gonna. Yep, that one. Watch it go in. Hey, <sighs> black. 
62,000 damage. And I'm not I'm being immensely frustrated by losing my planes, even though I'm losing my planes at a, probably about the same fucking rate, too. This is about the same fucking thing. Honestly, I think it's just... Honestly, like, looking at this, this isn't terribly fun either on its own, on its own basis, which is kind of unfortunate. Because maybe it's just the Shokaku that's the problem. Maybe it's just that a tier 8 carrier stopped being fun. I don't know, I made it through Hiryu just fine. It took a while because I wasn't playing the fucking game, but Hiryu was always nice. Oh well, we'll experiment after this battle. Because I'm pretty- I'm- I'm damn certain that we could probably make up- whatchamacallit. We could probably, uh, add- Hiryu is still flooding, he's not using- he's- he- they don't even use their repair parties. Wow. These women. They don't exist anywhere else. E hmm. It seems like, yeah, the, the optimal strategy is to literally just camp the enemy carrier with your fighters as hard as you can. At least there's only one of those guys. So, the... the, the, the the, the torpedo bombers are probably gonna get hurt. They're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Gonna have no problems. Maybe we'll play the dunk next. I kind of feel like playing the dunk next. That sounds like fun. And in this kind of situation, I know I won't be basically just, you know, wanting to kill myself in it. I did fucking. Stop slowing down. Go faster. You fucking. Hey, fucking saucy bitch. Jesus. <laughs> you see, they're just annoying enough. J just enough. They they are masters of their craft here at this maid cafe. <laughs> and these shovels will probably sink her as soon as they actually hit. Actually, they're getting absorbed right into the belt. What? Wait, wait, wait. Where's the last one? Come on now. Eh, eh, eh. There it is. Okay. Let's go play the dunk. I probably only made 300 XP, but ooh, that was fine. Actually, 400 XP probably. Yeah, 400. Fuck. This is going incredibly fucking slowly, but at least it's like... So it's, it's 10,000 XP. So at 5,000, so it's 20 battles. At, you know, at 500 XP minimum. That's not that bad. I mean, sure, I was making about 600 XP for every other game in the, um, in the other mode. But you know what? That wasn't as fun. That little bit of progress that I was getting wasn't as fun. So, well, we need a tier 6 ship. Where's a the dunk? There's a the dunk. Haven't played Dunk in a while. Hello, Philippe. You can keep in, you keep in good account of your triple turrets or your quadruple turrets, I should say. Rather, sorry about that. That that's the word here. That that's the that's the only reason we would ever ever set foot on this boat. Quadruple turrets. So, let's go see what she can do in co-op battles because I actually want to have fun. I've ceased caring about the competitive nature of this game. Because honestly, it is of no value. Because once I get to tier 10, I'm not going to join the competitive... I'm really not going to join the competitive... Uh, whatchamacallit? The competitive scene with this game because... It doesn't interest me. It's the same thing in World of Tanks. Mainly because the mouse isn't... Well, the mouse is overpowered right now in World of Tanks. That's going to change, though, because everybody in their fucking mother complained about it. But let's see what we can do. You see, tier 5 and 6 fucking... I can just sail in and actually, maybe I'll actually learn how to, maybe I'll actually learn where to shoot AP in the dunk. Hmm. What a shocking revelation. Just have to avoid getting torpedoed. Is it a fireboat? Our soul, she is like a restless fire. It yearns. It yearns for that saucy secretary boat. Well, 
Okay, so now this Omaha. She will go with me. We will go to A and we will go see what is up. We will load AP because we may be actually able to get away with it. And you see, I'm already, uh, the accent is already here. It is already here. I am already prepping the horns. The baguettes are actually hardening in the holes. Feel them. They are rock hard. Good luck and fair seas. They will only get high, uh, they will only get harder as this goes on, most likely. Because I know what I'm going to run into, and what I'm going to run into is something that's not amazingly frustrating. See, enemy dunk way over there. Why did they get premium bolts? But let us see what we can manage here in the dunk. We already, we already remember the, the, I suppose, the core tenets of the dunk. Bow forward. Do not expose sides. Except in this situation where we might be able to get away with a broadside or two. We might be able to actually coat people with our secondary guns. Fancy that. Because we can actually brawl. Because the AI. Wow. It's like everything's getting better. The only problem is there's no competitive value here. That's the only downside of playing PV PvP. We need to find some... some. We need Somebody needs to make PvE games great again. Somebody needs to actually come in here and say, you know, this is the game and this is how we play it. And this is, you know... They need to actually, you know, like, like... They need to actually make it worth something, so someone can say, so, so some people can't say, Oh, but that's just PvP. That's just PvE. You're just shooting bots. That's not skill-based. Someone needs to prove those people wrong. And adjusting my aim, it is very poor. However, we will, um, we will improve. I am very rusty. It has been a while since I've played the dunk. So we will hopefully not get torpedoed by this Omaha, and hopefully manage to get a signal. Excuse me as my tone of voice kind of cycles, I've actually forgotten how to do the French accent. I know the horns, but nothing else. It kind of comes and goes. Okay, so... He is turning side. We are on... we must aim for the funnels. You see, that is the Citadel. Now we need to get out of here without getting torpedoed. Oh! Oh, you see, there it is! Oh! I turned out of the way just in time. Now for the New Mexico. I can approach him because I know he's not going to fucking torpedo me. You see? I can actually drive the boats like I want them to! Amazing! Okay, now let us get let us get clear shot on the New Mexico's you see, the secondary chan. She is back. She is bristling with pride. So now let us see if we can put one right in this bit. Hey, yep. Not bad. Not exactly what we wanted though. Secondary chan, use use your spunk. Can you wiggle the second? Yeah, you did. did go. Come on now. Shoot. Fire all the guns. Ow. The fire. Not not that type of fire. Put that up. I'm exposing my side, but I do not care. Because I know I will do massive amounts of damage with this strike. 15. See, it is very nice. It is very nice. It is leisurely pace. Another fire. Yes. The secondary gen, she's loading the extra napalm shells. Some of those are AP. Ow! You see, that is why we do not expose our sides in the dunk. However, we have repair body, so it does not matter. Oh! You see? This is fun! This is so much better than playing just absolutely frustrating PvE. I mean, PvP. I will stop, I will stop ex confusing those at some point, because one day, I will probably like to play PvE more. Problem resolu, chef. Yes, exactly. The problem has been resolved. So let us see if we can actually continue on this escapade without actually exposing our sides. Let's try and be somewhat tactical here. Let us wait for the New York to expose his sides. Yes, yes, yes. He must turn in order to actually use his guns. Unless he's going to shoot us with just two guns. 
No, 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 no. He's an American. He wants to shoot us all with all the guns. He wants to broadside. He wants to go. And, but that is good. That makes him an entertaining opponent. See, that is what I don't. I, don't, I do not want. I do not want worthy opponents. The worthy opponents to me are uh, the entertaining ones. Those are the ones that I wish to play against again and again. Most of those bounced. Oh, this might be an issue. What the fires today? Unfortunately, they are not on my boat. Well, they are, they are on my boat, not on the enemy's boat. Oh, they are passing the turrets. Secondary Chen! Rise and shine! We're going to outpace his turrets, though. Ah! 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 You see, now why can't the normal game play like this? Oh, yes, the weak barbets. Now I. Yes, you see, that is the way to do that. Continue coding them, secondary Chen. Another fire, yes. Very good. Down! You saucy bitch! And now he has rammed into the island. And now right to the bombs. A hundred thousand damage! Like nothing! Why? Because I'm actually able to kill the ships I am engaging! At close range! Who would have thought? Wow! Stupid enemies are more fun! And honestly, let's be honest here. You play you play the PvP queue so you can run into stupid enemies and have fun. The smart people aren't fun. You don't want to fight the smart people. Fuck the smart people. The smart people make you want to kill yourself. Let's see. Congo is not in range of us. However, we could be able to sneak into close range. The anime Congo. Oh, she is extravagant. You see, the AI, it even has the anime boats. They are even wearing the frilly dresses with the anime hair. With the twin tails and all of these wonderful styles. This is a wonderful place. I would recommend this maid cafe to all of my friends. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get in that engagement. However, that uh, that that, that Congo can have that have his um his um um what is it uh, self incest fantasy? I think that is what's going on there. That's not narcissistic. I would know. I'm a narcissist. You can fuck yourself. Everyone would probably try it at least once. Well, there's that. Say, so how much XP do we make? Wait just a goddamn fucking second here. That's... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, wait a fucking second. That's fucking... It's fu that's 400. What? Where did that extra bonus come from? I thought it was gonna be 600. You see, this doesn't make any fucking sense. However, that's a lot more fucking entertaining. I can play this all goddamn day. Let's play more. I'm actually having fun, because I'm not dying instantly and I can actually do the things that I want.